Okay, now to Superset. Superset is a data exploration and visualization tool. It has three phases to it. One phase is the, uh, the first one is the data exploration part or what we use for as the first first. The data exploration part is for, for data analysts or analytics engineers to make sense of whatever they have come up with data, perhaps after massaging the data with DBT. The second phase of it is a dashboarding tool. Once you have some insights, you may want to share it with others and you can build pretty neat dashboards in Superset and you can share it with, with your colleagues or with your clients as well. We all know that it very frequently is required to look into the detailed data set that we're working on. So there's a tool for it in, uh, in Superset as well. It's called a, the SQL lab and uh, you can query the data here. These are the, the three things that Superset does. It helps you slice and dice the data. It helps you present the data and it helps you investigate the data at its most granular level. Okay. What's in Superset? So we, we have lots of visualization tools uh, in the market. Why would I recommend looking into Superset or considering it as a solution? For one, it's widely applicable. It's widely applicable because it's compatible with almost all relational SQL databases. It's uh, by design and by the components that they have used. It's built onto Python and Python's famous SQL alchemy package, which is which has connectors to almost all SQL DBs that you can think of. You can run it on premise or use it as an SCS tool. So in that regard, it's very similar to DBT and fits very well to, to our workflows. It's easy to learn and easy to use for data analysts and also for people who have less experience with data visualization tools. It's a fairly lightweight tool, so it's not that complex. And as uh, it's very much like DBT, it's free and open source, and it also has a, an SCS backing. It was uh, founded or, or for first conceived at, Air, at Airbnb in 2015, and it's been trending ever since. It's 1.0 release happened this January and you can see the real big jump in its uh, star history. So it's the GitHub stars that, it, that the project got. It's beyond uh, 40,000 now. So it's a pretty big project and it's got notable users uh, from all around the world. Airbnb and Lyft are big users because uh, the team who, who first uh, came up with the idea of Superset and first built it worked at Airbnb and then at Lyft. But we have uh, users from all around the world. For example, you may, or some of you may know Zalando, obviously. The small and large companies alike use this a lot. 